Hi guys. I'm going to show you guys uh, an, a simple and easy way to make a stretchy cord bracelet with the two hole. Like if you, sometimes you get these charms and they actually have the two holes here and here and it's kind of hard when you want to string beads on. You don't know how to do it. You tie a knot on this end and then string the beads and then tie a knot this end. But when you do that, it kind of looks sloppy and messy. So I'm just going to give you a, a tip on how to actually do it where it comes out perfect. It looks great, it's strong, and you don't see the knot at all. So I'm just going to give you a tip. Basically the, the tools that you would need actually is I've been using the Stretch Magic. Uh, I'm using the 0.5 millimeter, um, 25 I guess meters long. Not that that makes a difference, but uh, you need the thin one, which is the, the 5, 0.5 millimeter. It's the thinner. Um, cord and I use a wide-eyed needle it's the one that um, I don't have the packaging but it's it's one of the way you could stick anything through it it's, it's really wide so that makes it so much easier to pick up the beads and to do what we're doing so basically what I did was I strung on um, like I use these they're rondelles this is what I've been using lately so any size rondelle would be fine I think I'm using right here, these are um, four millimeter rondelles. So what I do is I I string on, you don't have to string it on first, but uh, just for this purpose I'm going to show you, I string on as many as I need first, and then what I do is I put it through like the, the top like this, so see how it's kind of, I go like that, and then I go on the other end like that and now let me show you what it looks like so now it looks like that so I have my string coming out of the top and I have a string coming out of the top so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put I have my needle and I'm just going to thread through half so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thread through half of the beads and I'm going to do that on each side and meet in the middle and just tie a knot in the middle which works out great because like I said it hides the knot so like I'll go like this my fingers hope you could see it pull it through so let's see how you don't even know what half is let me see so we got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. Okay, so we're going to go half of 32. How many did I go through so far? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so we're going to go through 16. On this end. to go through four more. Sometimes the needle comes out, but that's okay because that's why I like the wide-eyed needle because you just put it right through. It's very simple to put through. And then you just go ahead and continue. So I have four more to put through on this side. Perfect. So that's that half is done. Take the other side and put the needle through that side. And then you go through these. And it's a little hard to do because I'm using small beads, but that's okay. And the needle is not stiff. It's one of these bendy ones, but again, it's so much easier to use this needle because first of all it's a stretchy cord and you can't really put stretchy cord in like regular stiff needles 
I'm sure you could if you find a large hole, but then when you find the, the large hole ones, they're going to be too thick to go through this, the beads. So these are very flexible and they definitely do the job. Okay, so now take the needle out and now look at that. It's you just tie your knot. And I like the surgical knot. I always do, I do one. I just tie one knot and then I go over here and I do two. So I say, I go one, two. There's my surgical knot. Tie it nice and tight. And then I pull it that way. I pull it this way. And then of course I always use my hypo cement, which I love. It really holds it nice. I dab a little bit on there. I let it dry a few minutes. And then I clip off the ends. And there you have it. Look at that. It's perfect. There's, you don't see the knot. You know, once I cut these off, <clears throat> I can actually hide the knot in between the bead. And that's it. It's perfect. I hope that was helpful. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to see me teach you guys something else, uh, leave it in the comments so that I know what you guys want to learn. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me know if uh, you like this video or if you want me to, you know, again, do something different. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.